Tawfiq is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paving the way for you to be a better person, to do good things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitating things around you. Let me give you an example again to, to try and illustrate. A very good friend of mine, I'm not sure if he wants me to mention his name, so I won't, but I will tell you his story. You probably know him yourself. He, because of certain things that he did when he was younger, he made a few mistakes, he ended up in jail. So he goes to prison, and while he was in prison, he had a cellmate who happened to be Muslim. So this person is not Muslim. And he was involved with gangs and he was involved with these cults and you know, all kinds of shady stuff was happening. His cellmate happened to be a Muslim. This Muslim cellmate introduces this young man to Islam. He gives him a few books, he starts reading them and of course being in prison means that you have a lot of time on your hand. There's not much else to do. And so you tend to catch up on some good reading. And of course, because they're so spiritually deprived, because life in prison makes you reflect on the mistakes that you've made and you start searching for meaning in your life, he is interested in religion. So he starts reading these books and after a while, he says, you know what, this is the truth. And so he tells his friend, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He becomes Muslim. Soon after that, he's released from prison. And he is now involved with what I believe is the most comprehensive effort to reach out to prison inmates and introduce them to Islam. He publishes books, pamphlets, leaflets, information packs about Islam, sends them janamas, sends them moors, and does all kinds of things that a prison inmate would need to be introduced to Islam and then to start practicing Islam. He's got a publishing house called Second Chance Books. A great effort, a very noble effort. May Allah bless him. Over 700 people have converted to Islam thanks to his efforts. Now that got me thinking. Isn't it weird that this man ends up in prison at this specific time and this specific place? Of all the prisons in South Carolina, he ends up in this place. And of all the cells, he ends up in this specific one. And of all the infinitely, you know, uh, massive potential individuals that could have been his cellmates, this person happens to be his cellmate, who was also a Muslim. Now, isn't it also interesting that this Muslim man who was an immigrant had to leave his home country, come to the United States, commit some kind of a crime, get caught, end up in that prison and end up in that cellmate. And because they happen to be together, they start talking, he gets introduced to Islam and now he is one of the foremost activists in inviting other people to Islam in prison. Brothers and sisters, there is no such thing as luck. Brothers and sisters, there is no such thing as a happy coincidence. There is no such thing as serendipity. What there is, is a very complex web of factors that synergize and work together in order to achieve a specific goal desired by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God wants this man to be an instrument for his faith. He moves heaven and earth literally moves heaven and earth. Adjustments are made, changes are made, things get into motion in order for this man to be the man that he is today. Whether it was because he was good and he had a good intention or he did something that pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it be because his parents were pleased with him and they prayed for him. I don't know what the factor involved was. I don't know why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose this fate for him that he chose and this destiny that he chose. But we do know that there is no such thing as luck. It's all calculated to the nth degree, to microscopic levels. Everything that happens in your life happens for a reason. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making